Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, February 25th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. You're very welcome to join, and the link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US Dollar, and as you can see, we have pulled back quite a bit here in the Great British Pound US Dollar. Main reason for this is because we are overstretched here. We are way outside of the Bollinger Band, or were way outside of the Bollinger Band. We have now entered the, the Bollinger Band, and uh, we are also significantly overbought. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential, roughly down here at 1391, that could be expected, and we could also expect a rally from there. So we could, if we fall below the 20 exponential, we could fall towards the 40 or the, even the 50 down at 13, 1373 before rallying. So the 20 and the 50 have been very supportive in the past. So yes, we if we go all the way back to uh, basically to October where this rally started, we have been bouncing off the 20 and the 40. So pullbacks towards uh, these uh, moving averages are possible buying opportunities. If you look at technical indicators otherwise, the stochastic is turning around, the MACD is becoming flat but still very bullish, the CCI is turning around, so we could see a move to the downside. To buy it here is extremely risky. So let's look at the US dollar and Japanese yen. The 300 moving average is still um, looking very resistant. Uh, we have tested it again today. We did break above the 300 and then fell beneath it again. We also are very overstretched here. We're basically at the top of the bullish band and pulled back a little bit. We're not oversold yet, so no overbought yet, so we could stay here for a while before turning uh, um, to lower levels. But uh, at this point, a break above the 300 moving average, if that uh, starts working as some support, then we may go higher. However, there's not a lot of room to the upside. So don't expect massive uh, moves to the upside. Otherwise, we'll get a significantly overbought uh, market and um, the fall to the downside will be bigger. So if we break down from here, then the 200 moving average around uh, 105, uh, 037, it's going to be significant support. So we're basically stuck in between the 200 moving average and the 300 moving average at this point. So the euro US dollar, we did fell underneath the 200 moving, uh, the 20 exponential moving average and then rallied above the 50 moving average. We are very close to the top here of the Bollinger Band, roughly at the 1220. Um, that is going to be quite resistant. Um, there is some room to the upside here, actually a lot of room to the upside. Technically, the getters otherwise are turning around. So if you get another green candlestick here, it could mean that we could go and test these previous highs here at 1234. Pullbacks uh, from here, they will, the 20 exponential and the 200, no, 100 moving average will offer significant support. So the US, uh, Aussie dollar, US dollar, we continue to rally at this point. Uh, we are getting very close to the target of 0.8. Uh, we are still very overstretched here and significantly overbought. So yes, this can rally all the way up here and then just collapse towards the 20 exponential. Or we have a pullback towards the 20 and then rally towards the 80. No interest of basically shorting this. Um, if this falls, uh, then buying is uh, the way to go at this point. Um, yes, so let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. This has also fallen off a cliff today. We are significantly oversold at this point, significantly overstretched also. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential or even the 50, that could be possible within the next few trading days. Technical indicators otherwise are extremely bearish. So a further fall from here, that will basically be that we'll go to signal digit and the RSI, and that means also that we'll, we'll have a massive rally at some point to the upside. So 20, the middle of the Bollinger Band is probably as far as we will go. That's 1268 uh, at this point. And then we'll most likely continue to the downside as we are in a downtrend and have been for quite some time. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. 
hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.